a lounge made entirely in the void, a pizza parlor with a dark secret, and quite possibly the most gorgeous sewer system I have ever seen. I'm Denmo, and you made this, Eorzea. <laughs> Hello again folks, after my last video my inbox was flooded with all kinds of player made houses to go to and visit in Final Fantasy XIV so much that it's taken me weeks to sort through them all, let alone film them. This video is second in what I hope will be a series showcasing all the creativity Warriors of Light have to offer. Starting in no particular order is the High Rollers Lounge. This large FC took my breath away immediately with its enormous atrium lobby and classy decorations. What can I say, this place looks like an island resort. On one side, an outdoor balcony with comfy seating, a hot tub, and a wonderfully creative false exterior. They use sky phasmascapes and an entire wall to sell the idea that this is actually outside, and it works. Never would have thought to use the unmelting ice partition to create an ocean scene. Really a shame that that item is only on the store right now. Wait, is that a pool table? Christ, this place is everything! Now I just want Yoshi P to add pool to the game. Speaking of games and ice partitions, Lovely's Holiday Maze is a great time worth dragging your friends out to. It's a complete multi-story maze with a surprise ending that I won't spoil here. Hopefully the designer continues to make more. And if you want to get more lost, Tatanzo Kukunzo's Sealed House is an exquisite reimagining of the the interior space. The dome and decorations are cozy and inviting, but more impressively, each floor has its own lofts and sublevels crammed into every space imaginable, winding through the structure in a way that makes my head spin. I mean, just look at this split staircase. I got lost in this house, I kid you not. There's literally no wasted space here. I couldn't find any, and the basement is packed with a few haunted secrets. If you're looking for ideas on how to cram more rooms into a medium house, look no further. On the other hand, if you're looking to lounge about in the out-of-bounds blackness of the void, you could do worse than check out the Tenno-ji, or Tengoku no Jikoku. If the front yard took my breath away, the entire lobby took my soul. These red tori are a creative entry lobby and worth a screenshot alone. And what seems to be an enshrined statue holding a guest book is actually a warp station to the real venue above. With regal seating, hot tubs, a stage, and a fully serviced bar, this venue hopes to attract all sorts of distinguished role players. And did you notice? There's actually no ceiling. It's a trick the designer used to save on housing slots. Wild. Speaking of wild, Next house is called the Cave of Wonders, and we interrupt this broadcast to bring you exciting news. Take a three, four, or seven day fun ship vacation in space. Experience top of the line service with all the amenities for a comfortable voyage amongst the stars, including food fabricators, viewing portals, and a topiary garden. Relax and have our Lopperit servants administer to all of your needs, while Captain Gyokukan charts a course through the cosmos. We made sure to double check the airlocks this time. Yes, yes. Register today for your chance to enjoy the cosmos. Safety not guaranteed. All applicants must submit to a body cavity check for security purposes. You may expect it up front in the form of carrots or fish. Not responsible for loss of limb, DNA scrambling, or suffocation. The information package is free. There's no obligation. Offer not available in Guardian Control Provinces. Amazing. What a fun cave. The next house might be the most impressive, most creative, most realistic, and most immersive Final Fantasy XIV housing experience I have ever set foot into. And it's also a sewer. <laughs> what can I say about this? It's a f***ing sewer. There's pipes along every wall and ceiling. There's dripping water. There's believable moody lighting. And these tunnels, god dang. There's even cracks in some of them with pipework along letting earth just spill out with water and stuff. It's, it, it boggles my mind. And this cityscape at the end of the tunnel here, they literally painted buildings onto a wall using shadows. This is just unbelievably creative. From top to bottom, this whole thing just continues to impress me, even after looking at the footage. You'd think they'd run out of housing slots, but no, there's still a secret in there. First person to find it in the comments gets a cookie. Or maybe a pizza? Speaking of pizza, the last house I'm going to talk about today, well, it's a pizza place. It's a completely normal, gorgeous, New York City style pizza parlor. Absolutely, incredibly normal. Very beautifully normal. Normal moonlight night scene. Normal gaming arcade. Normal costumed mascots. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, it's a bit of a letdown just how disturbingly normal this pizza parlor is. But honestly, it's making me hungry, so I'm gonna go. Hey, thanks for watching. Here are my runners up. These are all beautiful houses worth visiting, and I could say more, but honestly, it's just easier to show you. If you want to catch me looking at these houses live, I'm still streaming every Sunday, visiting houses people have shown me, or hitting up random residences for the fun of it. I visited just about all the houses that were submitted since last time. That doesn't mean I'm done accepting more. If you have or know of a cool house or a creation or even an island sanctuary that you want to show off, check the link in the video description. Till then, this has been Denmo. I make videos sometimes. See ya.